I am uh, Jacob Pope. I'm a retired sergeant, served in the United States Marine Corps. I was injured August 16th, 2011. It resulted in the immediate amputation of my left leg. I suffered burns to my upper arms, my legs, multiple fractures to my right leg, and traumatic brain injury. To disarm an ID, it can be nerve-wracking. Most of the time when we're called on scene, it's suspected. We don't know where it is, what it is. It's that search for it that is the really nerve-wracking part and the most dangerous. There was a foot patrol that was out and locals had come up to them and told them that there was an ID in there. So I needed to go search around the compound wall to make sure there wasn't any wires leading up to the area. I searched, I searched, I couldn't find anything. So I took a big step over the area where I thought there might be something. And my big step over that area actually resulted in me stepping directly on the pressure plate itself. After I got hit, I, I did stay conscious. Um, my immediate questions were, is, you know, do I, am I above the knee or below the knee to the corpsman and my friends that were there? If the leg wasn't the main concern it was, am I gonna bleed out at that point? Going through all the recovery and when I was at Bethesda, probably some of the hardest times was right when I first got fitted for prosthetics. Um, I have a really, really short stump for a uh, below the knee amputee. It causes me a little bit more pain than a lot. And, you know, working with my prosthetic for two weeks and not being able to put any weight on it because it just hurt too much. That was a really, really hard point. Hey, Jordy. Hey, Jordy. Hey, Jordy. I am Addison and I'm five. She turned a year old uh, just about a month after I got hit. And I got my prosthetic a couple months after I was at Bethesda. And she was starting to wall walk and it started to turn into a race. Who was going to walk first, <laughs> me or her? And just stuff like that, you know, her starting to be able to run and jog down the hallway. Well, then I needed to. Uh, you know, push myself harder in therapy to get my running leg to be able to chase after her. And so just her there pushed me a lot for the better. Current house that I live in now, and I can't really use a wheelchair in it much at all. With Addison, you know, I want to go up and read her a bedtime story or something. My my room's on the on the first floor, but her bedroom's up on the second floor, so taking the stairs up and down and you know, for so long, I've just kind of sucked it up, put my leg on and put myself through more pain just so I can do the things that I need to do for her and with her. When I get one of these houses, it'll be great that, you know, after our, a long day or just for the whole weekend, I can take off my leg and just use my wheelchair and do everything I need to do, go throughout the house where I need to go with no limitations, not having to put my leg back on and allow my body to heal so I can go out and play soccer with her. Or with the house, having the shower where I could roll into would be amazing because most of the time now, any shower in the two houses that I've been in have a, a lip on it. It's pretty much asking to get hurt to try to hop over that little lip so I'm forced to take baths for the most part because that's the only safe thing for me to do now after having a couple falls and realizing that I need to you know watch what I do to not have a mortgage it'd be a huge impact for me I could focus more on school since I've gotten hurt I've finished my associate's degree and I want to continue on to a bachelor's in computer sciences I could dedicate more time to that, a lot of stress lifted off of me, and just be able to provide and do more things for my daughter than I want to do. I coach her soccer team now. Just my whole lifestyle and my priorities have changed, and now I'm able to do those things that, or will be able to do those things that I want to do with her and dedicate that time to her. I think Home to Our Troops uh, definitely changes people's lives for the po only in the positive. So many good things are going to come out of myself or any other veteran getting one of their homes. And not just because it's mortgage free, but the fact that it is completely handicap compliant. And that's just so much stress lifted off the individual that is put in that spot and gives them more drive and just more confidence as a person. The difference Homes for Our Troops is making for me, they're giving me the ability to be 100% independent as a parent and a father regardless of my injuries. What are some of the things you, you do? We play dolls. <laughs> what else? We mostly play soccer. My dad is my hero.